Are you ready to take on the challenge of launching a thriving solo podcast? Let's break it down step by step for beginners like you and I. Starting a solo podcast is an incredibly exciting opportunity and I am thrilled to be part of this amazing community. Whether you are looking to share your passion with the world, establish yourself as an expert in your field, or simply just have some fun, podcasting is an amazing way to do that. And the best part is you do not need to be a tech expert or have a massive following to get started. So when it comes to launching a solo podcast, we often face a few common challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is choosing the right equipment. There's so many microphones, headphones, software options available, and it's easy to get overwhelmed by this. A lot of us have been there and we get stuck in analysis paralysis. We're not sure which gear to invest in. And even more, we get unsure on how to use it in the first place. So another thing that we we're challenged with is finding our niche. So think about this. What do you want to talk about on your podcast? Who do you want to be talking to? Those are just a couple of the questions that can keep you up at night when you're thinking about getting started. Following that, there's a fear that you might sound stupid or silly or boring. You might be really worried about that. Now, what if people don't want to listen to you? What if you run out of ideas after just a few episodes? On top of that, a lot of beginners, like myself, struggle with the technical side of podcasting. So how do you record and edit your episodes? How do you get your podcast onto the popular platforms? Like, for example, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And then once you've launched, how do you keep your podcast going and growing as it keeps going? These are all really valid concerns, but do not worry, guys. You can tackle each and every one of them as you work through each episode as you're editing. Choosing the right podcasting equipment can be a really daunting task, but it is also a crucial step in creating high quality podcasts. So first, let's talk about microphones. You don't need to break the bank to get a good microphone. In fact, you can start with a simple USB microphone that just plugs directly into your computer. I'll tell you, my first recording microphone was only £19 on eBay and it was, like I said, just one that you could plug straight in. Following that, you'll need a pair of headphones and these are going to help you to monitor your audio in real time and catch the mistakes or issues that are happening as you're recording. I started with my free headphones that came in my phone until I was ready to invest in better quality headset soundproof and all that kind of stuff. Then you're going to need some recording software and there's a lot of options available. There's free and paid, but don't worry too much about that. We can cover the basics of recording software later on. So then when it comes to choosing a podcast platform, you've got a few options. You can host your podcast on somewhere like Anchor or Buzzsprout, um, or you can host it on your own website using a plugin like PowerPress or using an RSS feed. That'll make sense when we talk about it. For me, I wanted it to be free and easy, so I host on YouTube because um, I know how the site works and I want to use a video. But then later on, I decided I wanted Spotify hosting so that I could add it to my website for free as well. So each option has got pros and cons, but do not worry, we're going to break them down for you as we go through it. Defining your target audience is also really crucial in creating a successful podcast. So think about this, who are you trying to reach? What problems did they face and how can you help them solve those problems? Understanding your target audience is really going to help you create content that resonates with those people and it will keep them coming back for more. When they need it, they enjoy it. When they enjoy it, they tell people about it and you get more audience. Then think about creating engaging content that's key to keeping those listeners hooked. And this means developing a content strategy that's working for you and sticking to it. So for a lot of podcasters, this means releasing new episodes on a regular schedule. For me, it's Mondays, every week. You might want to do that weekly on a different day, bi-weekly every two weeks or monthly. Depends on your schedule. Consistency though is key. So choose a schedule that you can realistically stick to based on what else is happening in your life. You'll also want to think about how you can make your content more engaging and interesting. And this might mean using storytelling techniques or interviewing guests or who are in the industry that you're part of. Again, staying consistent is crucial to building your audience. So this means releasing new content regularly, promoting your podcast 
on social media and other channels. You can use Instagram or X, share behind the scenes glimpses into your podcasting process or tease upcoming episodes the week before they're due to come out like I do. Um, you can also use Facebook and other platforms to create a community around your podcast, engage with your listeners maybe in a, a group in real time. And then don't forget, you can collaborate with other podcasters in the niche that you have. And this can help you to tap into new audiences by connecting with their audiences as well. That builds relationships with other creators and gives you more scope for content. So we've covered a lot of ground. We've discussed the common challenges faced by beginners when launching a solo podcast. And we've provided a step-by-step guide on how to overcome them. From choosing the right equipment, to creating engaging content, and we've stayed consistent in the process. We've broken down the process of launching a thriving solo podcast into manageable bite-sized chunks. Let's make sure that you do the same. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're feeling more confident about launching your own solo podcast. If you are excited to get started, be sure to subscribe for more podcasting tips and tricks, and leave a comment below sharing your podcast ideas. Don't forget to check out my other videos for additional help and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.